It's relations radiation from another generation Making makers out of me and out of you Out of you Open worlds of inspiration Fabrication celebration If you dream it, you can make it You can make your dreams come true Wake the population, imagination, illumination Manifest your destination, make your space Exceed all expectations and exclaim the declaration, yeah We can make the world a better place If you dream it, you can make it If you make it, you can be it That's the way that she will That's the way that she will That's the way your dreams come true Yeah, that's the way that That's the way your dreams come true Yeah, that's the way that If you dream it, you can make it If you make it, you can be it That's the way that she will That's the way that she will That's the way your dreams come true Yeah, that's the way that That's the way your dreams come true Save me a few crumbs. Seriously, Kay? I just opened this bag. You saw me go into town at the Make Your Own Waffle slash Taco Bar. I'm still stuffed. I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be waffles or tacos. Pass me your pencil. I need to change my schematic. Okay, seriously, can you at least not eat all the studio supplies? I really need to finish this. Huh? huh? Mice! Hey, Jax, any reason why you're up on the counter? No reason. I just like seeing this place from different viewpoints. It uh, helps me <laughs> understand my customers better. Which customers usually stand on the register? I am super curious. Is it the small, gray, furry customers with whiskers and tails? That looks something like this? Fine, you got me. We've got a bit of a rodent problem at Stax. They terrify me, but I also don't want to hurt the little guys, so I can't call pest control. How could I ever face Jennifer again? But if we don't get rid of them, this place could be shut down. That's not happening. We just need to wait and nicely and safely suggest to the mice that they find a new place to chill. Maybe sooner than later. I saw you eating that behind your notebook. Don't blame the poor mice, Reese. That's low. Don't worry, Jax. We're on it. Come on, Reese, let's walk and talk and munch. <laughs> Jax is right. This really does give you a new perspective. Like, I can see now that despite all of my security measures, Edie is still sneaking into my room. I was saving that for binge-watching dog mechanics. You know that show is fake, right? Dogs can't fix engines. They just look cute using power tools. I'm ignoring that wildly hurtful comment. What are you finding out about building a better mousetrap? I've watched two mouse music videos, subscribed to a podcast about mice mitts, and downloaded a pattern to make mice-shaped mittens. The internet is a magical place. I'm thinking we'll need an actual magical place to help Jax out with his mouse trouble. You in? Always. Cammy and Dev have been working on this epic treehouse with a skate ramp that sounds terrifyingly awesome. Whoa, that is so cool. Looking good, Dev. I had no idea you can skate like that. True poets possess nerves of steel and ice in their veins. Bearing one's soul is far more dangerous than a silly loop-de-loop. -loop. So, what's going on in Kaylee Reese land? Stax is overrun with mice and they're eating everything in sight. And after they eat, well, those crackers, wires, and unfairly graded mat tests are digested and need to come out somewhere if you catch my drift. Ew. Gross. Miss Reese Easley, I would skate the highest loop to save you from all of that disgusting mouse poop. Just don't. Truly, Dev. We know how much you love animals, Cammy. Protecting their habitats and finding homes for strays. You're the perfect person to help us figure out how to get the mice to leave in the nicest way possible. That was one of my better motivational speeches, Kaylee. Can you not undermine it with whatever that is you're doing? Sorry, I have no idea what the... Whoa! Whoa. I forgot you're not used to paper animals coming alive. It's old newspaper to us. <laughs> Looks like the fearless poet skater has met his tiny, tiny match. 
I think Dev scared it away. You should bring him back to Stax so he can take care of your mice. Cammy, you are, as always, brilliant. Uh-uh. Nope. One world with a Dev in it is more than enough for me. I'm okay. Don't worry, Reese. Dev's staying put. But we need to get back and help Jax. I'll explain on the way. Phew. I was so relaxed and I'm afraid there. I think I fell asleep for a minute. Where did Reese and Kaylee go? I thought we were going to hit the half pipe. Sorry, Dev. I think you missed your chance. And I have to get home for dinner. Maybe you can skate with your new friend. <laughs> I made a new friend? And when I realized the mouse was hearing something that we couldn't... Dev's silent screech of terror. Exactly. And that's why Mr. Whiskers ran off. I did a little research. Some animals can hear sounds that our ears can't. If I can set this in the really high frequency range, like 30 or 40 kilohertz, we can annoy the rodents enough to drive them away. It has to work. I'm sick of sharing everything with these mice. I'm an only child. You know I can't roll with that. Speaking of annoying siblings, how's that anti-ED security system working out? Fantastic. Like I've been saying all these years, ED and rodents have a lot in common. Dangerous.